Now for the next uh, macro example, we're going to take in uh, three types of things and I, uh, I copied them in from the cheat here, cheat sheet here so we can uh, see them up here as we uh, type it out. And uh, one is going to be a token tree, which is anything basically. Uh, the next is a uh, ident, so an identifier, uh, which is like the, uh, the X there, that is an identifier, identifies the, the value it holds, I guess and uh, ty which is nice and easy thankfully it's a type so there's a type there's a type there's a type uh, so that is uh, the, the three things that we're going to look at and what we're going to do is um, put a macro together that uh, will create a struct uh, so we uh, we can just call it and say uh, create struct <clears throat> like struct what Stru create struct typing weird today um, so, uh, yeah, let's do it. Uh, create struct. Um, okay, so, um, of course, you know, uh, macros start out as this, uh, so you can start by visualizing them as a uh, match statement with, uh, you know, the input here. And we're going to say we would like to, uh, you know, a struct would be, you know, my favorite struct is a book. Um, and uh, it's going to have name and string. So what are these? Um, so this is, um, uh, we're just going to print this out inside here, so we're not going to take input, uh, you know, this will be the same every time. Uh, book, uh, that will be the, uh, the token tree. Uh, name, this will be the identifier, and then this is, of course, a type. So we're going to take in one of each, uh, we'll say name, uh, and that'll be the token tree, uh, then we'll call the next one uh, field, and uh, that's the identifier, and then we'll say uh, type um, to put in um, type uh, of. I'm just going to say type of, and that's a ty. And so, what are we going to do? Well, you put in a uh, you know open the brackets, and then uh, all we have to do now is just start uh, typing out our struct. So we say, let's say we want to give it uh, debug every time. Uh, I don't know. We like to we like to do that. And then we say struct, and then, uh, okay, what's the name? Well, it's a struct of name. And then uh, inside it is going to be one field, uh, a field of uh, type of. And I think this should uh, work. And by the way, I, I put this together ahead of time, and uh, it's, uh, it's, really, uh, it's really picky. Uh, it took uh, about 15 minutes to do, so... Uh, don't think that I, I can just you know pull up uh, pull up structs uh, whenever I want, um, or pull up macros whenever I want. That's what I meant to say. Uh, so um, yeah, now that we have the uh, the macro, so let's uh, let's create a struct here, and we'll we'll do it before main. So we say create struct, and what are we going to put in? Let's um, let's make this book type. Actually, let's comment this out now. <clears throat> so we're going to say please create a book. Uh, with a field of name that is a string, and if this uh, if this works, then uh, then this should work as well. So let my book equals book and uh, name equals uh, my favorite book, like that. And because we gave it uh, debug, it should also print out my book. And let's see if it works. And uh, found uh, stir, of course. Uh, well, to string. <clears throat> there you go. So it actually it actually worked. So right here, this is a good example of uh, of how macros are. Um, you know, they're not. Um, the compiler doesn't look at it. It just uh, it just matches a bunch of stuff and says, okay, this works. Uh, and so it's basically a. Uh, it's like a it's like a function or it's like a something that writes code for you. So this uh, this wrote out uh, this uh, this this struct for us, and uh, so that is um, that's nice. Uh, now you know this is only going to work with uh, one field. So let's uh, let's give it some uh, some multiple fields. Uh, so what we'll start out with uh, is a uh, a name. Uh, that's going to be the same. <clears throat> But then after that come the uh, the field and type of, and this is going to be, you know, we always if we have a field we always want to have a, a type of, so it's left right left right. So they're going to be two two at a time. 
so we can put them uh, put them inside uh, their own brackets. So it'll look like this. Uh, so field uh, ident uh, that's the same uh, type of uh, that is a type, and that is the same. But then we're going to say, all right, I would like you to uh, to let them repeat. So we do this, and um, so yeah, we have this uh, this dollar sign uh, behind it saying. Uh, this is going to keep on repeating uh, and uh, make sure they are uh, separated by commas and there's going to be at least one. <clears throat> and then what we do here is we say, uh, we do the same, uh, derive debug, derive debug. And then we're going to uh, make our struct and we're going to call it uh, name. And then uh, over here, of course, we have the same thing, uh, type of, type of, but then uh, we have to uh, surround it by, uh, by brackets, put uh, the other dollar sign behind it, and, um, and say, uh, let's see, please take, uh, please take multiple, multiple ones. And I think this is going to work. Uh, let's, uh, let's give it a try. So my book, uh, let my second book, equals, uh, actually, no, it should be here. Uh, create struct, and we're going to say super book, and uh, we're going to say uh, name, that should be a string. Uh, we'll have year, that should be a u32, and I guess that's enough, we'll keep it simple. And then, so my second book should be, uh, there should be a, uh, a, set, a super book for us to, uh, to create, and then uh, we would say uh, name, um, Hollow Hills, the, the hollow, hollows, the hollow hills, two string, and then uh, year 1971-ish, and uh, that should uh, be printable as well. And we're going to see in a second if I got the uh, if I got the uh, the syntax right. Let's see. Try adding a comma. That's right. Try adding a comma, and yep, it has worked. So, um, so yeah, uh, so this is a you know I ho hopefully a good example of how you can uh, you know use macros to do some pretty pretty weird stuff. And um, once you uh, once you get used to the uh, the syntax, then it becomes a little bit easier, and uh, it becomes uh, I'd say probably twice as easy. Once you get used to this, and um, you know, read this uh, this over and over again, and uh, have an idea of exactly what kind of a uh, type you want to go in there, and you can see uh, it it has the uh, the repetition uh, you know symbols here as well, so you can uh, remember that. And uh, so after this, uh, for the last video, we're going to take a look at some some macros we already know, and then uh, see how they're put together uh, because we can kind of read them now, and uh, that should give us. Uh, a little bit of extra in insight into uh, you know the, the macros we've been using all this time and now we can actually look inside them.